Hey guys, my name is Spidey, and today I'm bringing you a video talking about Black Ops 3 before the beta, obviously. I haven't played the beta yet, and I've only watched like two, maybe two to four gameplays of Black Ops 3, so I definitely have not seen that much of it, but you know, I have to have my thoughts on it before the beta, obviously, because I, at the end of the beta, I'm going to have a thought, like I'm going to have another video talking about my thoughts, like after the beta, I'm going to have a before and after one. And then, like, during the beta, I'm just going to have gameplays and, like, talking about the weapons, perks, specialist thingies, stuff like that. You know, I'm just going to have a great time playing Black Ops 3. And I know I'm wearing my hoodie. I just got a haircut, actually. But, um, yeah, um, hair is not done. Got Just got out of the shower, actually. And, and yeah, so I'm just like, might as well wear my hoodie, right? Um, <clears throat> but, yeah, let's get right into this. So, Black Ops 3 like just general thoughts on it that I've seen I've, I've probably seen like I said two to four gameplays and it looks like a great game it looks like a great game it, uh, the weapons actually look really great like um I'm not sure like what weapons that are going to be like, popular or not like I don't think any subs are viable I'm pretty sure people are only using the M8 there I, there's another AR that people are using but I'm definitely not sure what it's called um off the top of my head, I have no idea what it's called, but I'm not sure if any subs are viable at the moment, but I know people are definitely using the M8. Like, I've seen uh, two M8 gameplays. People are one-bursting, so that's definitely a melt machine. Like, they need to... Uh, one burst is understandable at times. Like, let's say you uh, shoot them in the head, like, just get a laser right to the face. I understand. That should sometimes be a one burst, but, like, if you're shooting them in the toe, you shouldn't be one-bursting people. Like, if they're full health, not if they're weak. Excuse me, but um, you know, it, so far, like I said, it looks like a great game. Weapons, fantastic. The M8, maybe it needs to be nerfed so, just a little bit. But uh, the specialist things, let's talk about that. Those are really cool, actually. Uh, I wasn't sure how I was gonna feel about them, but like um, when the esports reveal came out, or even when the Black Ops 3, like the campaign thing came out, or the, not the campaign, but like the official release of Black Ops 3 came out. Um, I thought, you know, I was thinking like, those are probably going to be stupid, you know, it's another version of AW, pretty much, but actually they're really cool, like you have the, um, I'm not sure what it's called, but it's like a robot thing, and it does its hand like, and it turns into like a death machine, sort of, and then you have, um, you have the pistol called the Annihilator, if any of you guys played James Bond back then, it's like the golden gun, the one shot pistol, the, um, it's really cool, I love James Bond, I used to play that on the PS2 all the time, I love the PS2. Not a big fan of the PS4. I like the PS2 though. <laughs> um, what else we got? Um, oh, we have Rejack. I heard that's extremely overpowered. I've never seen it, but I, I know what it does. I've never seen it though. But um, pretty much, you like let's say you're one shot. You turn it on. You you come back to life. Or wait, I think you die. You come back to life, and then smoke comes around you so you can get away in time and stuff like that. Uh, you know, it's pretty cool. Um, I'm not, I'm not exactly seeing how, how it's overpowered. I think it should be banned, but I don't think it's overpowered. I, I saw my timeline on Twitter, like, people were saying it's very overpowered. I'm not seeing, I'm not seeing how it's overpowered, but I think for competitive it needs to be banned because that would be very fair and, uh, S&D and stuff like that. Or even Hardpoint, like, let's say you, uh, die in the hill, turn on Rejack, you're back in the hill already. Like, that, that's just stupid to me. So, I definitely think that needs to be banned. Um, next up, let's talk about score streaks. Score streaks in this game, fantastic, fantastic, guys. I love the Hellstorm missile. It's actually way better in this game than Black Ops 2. In Black Ops 2, I didn't like the Hellstorm missile. I know it was like, you know, the top-notch score streak, other than the lightning strike. You know, that was just like everyone's favorite score streak to use uh, for breaking hills and stuff like that. But honestly. I didn't like it in Black Ops 2. The missiles were so weird to me. They were so spread out. But in this game, it's all, it's like, it's weird. It's obviously, I haven't played the game yet, but it just looked than, um, than uh, Black Ops 2. There, I don't know why. Um, you know, you obviously have like the UAV. I'm not sure if there's a counter UAV than, um, than, um, than uh, Black Ops 2. There, I don't know why. Um, you know, you obviously have like the UAV, I'm not sure if there's a counter UAV, but I'm just gonna go ahead and say there most likely is because that's in almost every Call of Duty. UAV, counter UAV, Guardian, uh, all from Black Ops 2 and other Call of Duties. Um, you know, you just have a lot of basic score streaks that are in every single Call of Duty. Um, not sure if there's a lightning strike. There's, um, there's like the big score streaks like an AW, the Paladin, and uh, MW2, you have the AC-130 slash nuke or chopper gunner. Um, 
Yeah, you know, you had those huge score streaks in this game. It's called the Mothership. It's a huge thing. I'm guessing it's sort of like the Paladin. I don't believe it's in the beta. I'm not sure if it's in the beta or whatnot. But, um, yeah, so that's like the big score streak for this game. It's called the Mothership. It sounds a lot like the Paladin. It sounds just like a big warship that shoots a lot of missiles at someone. So I'm just going to take a guess and say that is the, uh, it's sort of like the Paladin from AW. Um, wall running. Wall running looks amazing. And this, before, um, before I started seeing, like, those gameplays that I said I saw in the beginning of this video, I was like, man, man, wall running looks stupid. It's another version of Titanfall. No, dude, the wall running looks so nice. It looked... I don't know why, it just, it looks so good, like, for maneuvering around the map. Same thing with the thrust jumping, like, I, people were, people were saying it's so much like AEW, but, like, those are just the kids that are complaining that it even has, like, a jetpack, sort of, sort of, but, um, you know, people that actually respect Call of Duty, I guess you could say, they understand that the thrust jumping and wall running is not overpowered at all. Like in AW, you can just boost whenever you want. You can go boom, 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 dash, 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 slide. You know, you, you have all that good stuff. But uh, I actually do like the dash in AW, and I kind of like Exos. I wouldn't mind Exos. Like, let's say they gave us Exos, I wouldn't mind it. But, um, you know, a lot of people don't like Exos, so you can't really have that. You know, I would just, it would destroy Call of Duty pretty much. I don't think a lot of people would play Black Ops 3, but that's not what we're talking about today. But, uh, thrust jumping, wall riding, I think it's great, honestly. I'm saying a lot of positive things about this game before the beta, and I can't wait to bring gameplays of the beta and even play, just play the beta. I'm gonna grind, I'm gonna try and get to the level cap, I'm not sure what it is, I think it's like 28, 30, something like that. Um, tell me in the comments below if I got that wrong. <clears throat> Punching, uh, sometimes a one hit, sometimes a two hit. I saw in the gameplay that I watched that he one hit someone, and then another one he pa pa punched twice and he died. I don't get the punching. Sometimes one hit, some like he was full health too. Like sometimes one punch, sometimes two punch. You can actually pull out your fists in this game. I think that's really cool. Um, but yeah, it's starting to become kind of awkward now. So yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say about this game. It looks like a great game. Obviously, this is before the beta. I'm going to have another video talking after the beta. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Leave a like, subscribe, follow my social media. Peace. Oh, I know that you don't know it, but you're fine, so fine. Fine, so fine. Oh, oh. oh girl, I'm going to show you when you're mine, oh, mine. Mine, oh, mine. Oh, that is what you